So now we're going to do some practice problems involving complementary and supplementary angles. So the first one says they, that there are complementary angles. One angle is 23 degrees, so we're finding the measure of the other angle. Now we know that complementary angles are two angles that have a sum of 90 degrees. So really we're asking ourselves what angle measure plus 23 equals 90. And I would encourage you to even write it that way. What being x plus 23 equals 90. And then we, of course, will subtract 23 from both sides. This is inverse operations. And x, that missing angle measure, equals, well, to borrow from the 9, make that 8. 10 minus 3 is 7. 8 minus 2 is 6. 67 degrees. So the complement to 23 degrees is 67 degrees. The next one is supplementary angles. One angle is 23 degrees. So again, we're saying what measure plus 23 equals 180? And I'm again going to write it that way. What measure plus 23 equals 180? So this time we are subtracting 23 from both sides. So x equals, again, I'm going to borrow from the 8 this time, make that a 7. So 10 minus 3 is 7. 7 minus 2 is 5. 157 degrees. So 157 degrees is the supplement to 23 degrees. All right, well, that one's pretty simple, straightforward. Now we're going to get into a little bit trickier problems. Now we have complementary angles. One of the angles is 10 degrees larger. You know, it's going to help me if I, if I draw this. So complementary angles. Now I know that that means that they, so and I, again, I said draw, I meant sketch. So there's 90 degrees, right? It's a right angle. One is larger than the other, so I'm going to make one bigger than the other. So this one's bigger than that one, slightly. Now I know this one's 10 degrees larger, so I don't know what this one is, but I do know that this one is whatever that one is, plus 10. And that's how I use a sketch to help me figure out what am I trying to add together here to equal 90 degrees. So x plus x plus 10 equals 90. So I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. And at the same time, on this side, so that gets rid of the 10 over here, I'm going to add x to, and x to get 2x. Oops, I put 7. Well, actually, I can turn that into an 80 really cleverly. There we go. And now I divide both sides by 2. So x equals 40. <clears throat> now, you need to be careful. If it just says solve for x, you're done. If it says what is the measure of each angle, well, I found this angle. This angle is 40. If this angle is 40, what's this angle? 50. So the way I write that is x equals 40 degrees, x plus 10 equals 50 degrees. Usually, well, and I, I say usually, I think they, I always look for both angles. But if it just says solve for x, you're done with just that. If they say find the measure of both angles, then it's worth two points. So make sure you read what they're asking you to do. So another similar one, supplementary angles. One angle is 20 degrees more than half the other angle. Okay, so they're getting really tricky here. So I'm going to sketch supplementary angles. And you know that's a sketch because that is some horrible lines. Um, one angle is 20 degrees more than half the other angle. Well, I'm going to say that this 20 degrees more than half is going to be the smaller angle because of that word half. So the bigger angle to me is x, and the smaller one is half of x plus 20. Now, does it really matter if I label the small one x and the big one 1 half x plus 20? The answer is no. The whole reason of the sketch is just to get me to think through what am I really adding together to equal 180? One angle is 20 degrees more than half. This is 20 more than half the other angle. Here's that other angle. X is that one we know nothing about. And then we use that to help us find the one that we know is 20 more than half. Anyway, let's go ahead and write that up. 1 half X plus 
20, almost put 10, plus x equals 180. So I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides, and at the same time, I'm going to add 1 half x to x, so that's 1 and a half x. equals 160. So really I'm dividing both sides by 1.5 because that's what one and a half is. Or you can turn this into three halves and multiply both sides by two thirds. So do that on my calculator. 160. I don't know if you can really see that. It's got a bag of glare on it. Divided by 1.5 and that's 106 and two thirds. So x equals 106.6 repeated degrees. And so to find the other angle, now if it just says solve for x, I'm done right there. If it says to find the measure of both angles, now I need to do 1 half times 106.6 repeated and then add 20. Well, luckily, this calculator can handle that. So I have, let's see, oh, we're not, oh there we go. So we've already got the number in there, so just leave it in there and then hit times 0.5, because that's what a half is, equals, and then hit plus 20. So 73.3 repeated. And in the end, I asked myself, well, do I really believe that 106.6 repeated plus 73.3 repeated? equals 180, and it's a good idea to just go ahead and check it. So maybe even just round it. Um, there we go, that's a better angle. 106.7 plus 73.3. There you go, 180. So I feel good about that. And then the last one. Complementary angle, so I know that they're going to add up to 90 degrees. One angle is 30 degrees less than double the other angle. So again, I'm going to sketch kind of a right angle. I'm going to make one bigger than the other. This time I'll make the top one bigger. And which one do I believe is x? Complementary angles. One angle is 30 degrees less than double. So I'm going to say that the doubled one. So the smaller one I'm going to call x, and the bigger one I'm going to say double it, and then take away 30, because that's what we need to do. 30 degrees less than means we have to have the thing first and then we take 30 degrees away from it. But again, this is what I'm adding together to equal 90 degrees. So 2x minus 30 plus x equals 90. So I'm going to add 30 to undo this minus 30 to both sides. Over here it's gone. I'm going to add 2x to x to get 3x. And that equals 120. So now divide both sides by 3 and x equals 40 degrees. Hey, didn't we already have that one before? Oh, that was the one up there too, look at that. So we already know the other one, but let's make sure it works. Let's make sure that two times 40 minus 30 does equal 50, because that's what we're thinking it is. Two times 40 is 80, and 80 minus 30 equals 50 degrees, and sure enough, 40 degrees and 50 degrees equal 90 degrees.